Okay, so I trust you guys have all had a good Thanksgiving. Everybody's back in their shops, ready to get to work. And uh, so am I. So uh, I think I'm going to start off this, this season with a series of video tutorials on building a clamp type knurling tool. So let's talk a little bit about knurling. So knurls are the uh, either diamond or, or straight teeth you see pressed into locking knobs, uh, hand wheels, anything you that require a good grip on. Um, here's an example on a magnetic base here. I, here's a diamond uh, knurl on this uh, locking knob here. Both locking knobs. There's uh, straight knurls on this uh, indicator clamp here on the locking knob on that. Uh, knurls are everywhere. You look over at my milling machine head here. There, there are knurls on the uh, depth stop, knurls on the, uh, the feed um, shaft here. Everywhere you grab there are knurls. So they're, they're pretty handy, they're pretty common around the shop. It's good to be able to know how to uh, apply them. Uh, the most common knurl, knurling tool you see is a embossed type knurl. It's basically uh, pressed into the work with uh, little, little hardened steel wheels like this. Okay, here's a, uh, a diamond shaped wheel. This one will press a the crisscross pattern pattern you see into a part. This is a really coarse one here, but a lot of them are many of them are a lot finer. Here's a here's a finer diamond knurl. Here's a straight straight knurl for pressing the uh, like the knurl you see in this uh, that I showed you this indicator clamp or holder. Um, these wheels, these hardened wheels, typically are mounted into a knurling tool that's held in the tool post on your lathe. Now, I don't have one of those, those types but you've, you've all seen these hold, holders like this that have sort of a rot rotary uh, head on them with a couple of these these knurls in it. Okay, you Mount this thing in your tool post and press it against a rotating part and it creates a knurl, a diamond pattern or a straight pattern in the part. Um, this is great, this is old technology. It, it works but it doesn't work very well. As you, as you can imagine, it takes a tremendous amount of pressure to form that knurl in a part, especially in steel. And, and this type relies on pressure being applied by the cross slide of your lathe. Well, that puts a lot of wear and a lot of wear and tear on your cross slide, so I don't like using this. It's also very, there's a lot of spring in this setup, so it's hard to get a good clean knurl with it. So I don't, I don't like the, that type. I mean, a lot of old lathes you buy have, have that type of knurling tool with them. Um, throw them away. There's lots, lots better ways to create a knurl. Um, a step up from that are the uh, scissors type knurling tools. That's just like a, uh, a clamp type knurling tool. It has two rollers on it in a scissors like fashion and you tighten up a screw and it squeezes them together on the part. That works better. Uh, it takes the force off the, uh, the cross feed uh, screw on the lathe. It doesn't rely on that for the pressure anymore. It provides its own pressure. But that's, that still has a fair amount of spring in it. The best knurling uh, tool I've found is a clamp type knurling tool that, that uses a, a frame. I don't know if you can see this. It uses a frame to hold the knurls and two opposing screws to force the knurls into the work. This, this makes a real rigid setup and it does a really good job at knurling. I have a commercial version of this, this tool that I'll show you here. It's kind of like this, right? It's just a, a frame, in this case an aluminum frame with some, some slots in it that hold the knurls. And these screws just force the knurls into the work. And this thing works great. This is the, the best tool I've ever found. So I uh, drew up a little version of it. It should be pretty easy to make. Okay, It's only four parts. This is what this is the project we're going to be working on this the start of this season. Um, the parts are basically the body, okay, that holds everything together. Uh, it holds all the screws for clamping and uh, attaches to the bracket for mounting on the lathe. And you know, it's just that's the the basic part. That's the probably the most complicated part. But the rest of them are pretty simple. Uh, we need two uh, steel holders for the for the knurls. All they are is just a five eight square piece of steel with a slot cut in it and a hole to, to, for a pin. Um, it just holds the wheel. 
then these in turn get mounted in the uh, the body. There's a uh, mounting bracket. This one's also of steel that attaches to the to the body, and then you can put this bracket into a, a quick change tool post holder. Okay, it just clamps on this uh, part of the bracket right here. And there's just a, a back plate to basically cover up the, the rear slot. The, the mounting bracket covers up the front slot and traps this, uh, this knurling holder in it. And the rear slot just has a separate cover on it to trap the rear holder. So it's pretty simple, not too many parts to make. Um, I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out, we're going to make something simple since they haven't done this for a while. We're going to start out with the, uh, the neural holders. We'll make those up. That way when I screw up I won't have a whole lot of video to reshoot. So kind of get, get me back in the swing of things here. So that's where we're going to start. Um, let's get busy.